And give a big round of applause, welcoming from Central South Carolina. This is the D.W. Daniel High School String Orchestra under the direction of David Cellini. Thank you. Thank you very much. The three pieces we're going to perform for you this afternoon are Wired, and then the middle selection will be an arrangement of the Peer Gint Suite, and then we will finish with the abduction from the Seraglio. Thank you.
Well, good afternoon. I think it's after. Is it afternoon yet? No. Whatever. My name is Mike Carubia, and uh, I really enjoyed your performance. Let me tell you the, the strong points. Rhythmically, you guys are very, t very solid. Your also intonation is very good. Very good. Um, uh, your your um, balances are good. You know when you have the melody, and you know when to, to come down, and um, you interpreted the music very well. I had one overall thing that I would have wished for, uh, and, and I've made it uh, the same comment on every selection. So, like I said, everything was great. I, I, uh, I needed more as well. Maybe you should tell me. Maybe let's turn this around. What do you think your performance? Did you get to hear anybody, any orchestras play yet, or in a Broadway show, or in a, a, maybe you went to Juilliard or Manhattan, or, or you heard the, the, Phil, the Philharmonic? Did, did you hear any performances yet? Will you tonight? Are you doing any trips, musical trips? Theater? Oh, which show? Aladdin. Well, I'm Aladdin, but I guarantee that professional musicians play with more contrast than you play with. Now, how do we produce contrast? Anybody want to answer that? How do you make contrast on your instrument? That mostly, it is dynamics. Soft, softer, louds, louder, so there's more contrast. But there's other ways. There's things I call, and I'm going to make, maybe go over a few spots on the music. I call them implied dynamics. In other words, when a phrase ascends, let's play a, um, a G major scale or D major. Would you be more comfortable with either one? 
G, play a G major scale for me like this. Da, 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 da. That's probably not the right key. I don't have perfect pitch. Here we go. Three, four. Quarter note and then eighth notes. Ready? And. Eighth notes. Da, 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 da. Yeah, and legato. Here we go. Two, three, four. Okay, I, I, was, I was singing eighth notes, but it's good. Play that same scale, but from the to the top, let it grow. Why? Because the line demands it. It's it just music, is, is, it, waves of sound are better than flat line sounds. If I were to speak to you about anything, if I were a newscaster or a sports reporter, well, that was a nice home run that he hit, and then the... And, uh, the team is now ahead by five runs, but wow, what a home run he hit! Did you see that pitch? That pitch was a low outside pitch, and he belted it over the air. It's the same kind of thing. You want the ups and downs of a conversation, and music is a conversation. So play that scale again. Now start as soft as you can, get as loud as you can. But do, it, do the quarter notes again. Two, three, four. More, more. Okay, now stop. Play the top down and do the reverse. Two, three, four. Now, if you were playing a song, how many people do auditions for whatever? For, for a group or a, a maybe college you're getting ready for the audition? You know, you're working on solos. Anybody working on solos for college or something? Or you doing, did you have to audition for something? If you were playing a solo, listen to a soloist. Listen to Heifetz, go back to hear the old stuff. Hear uh, Yo-Yo Ma and a cello, whatever. Listen to how much they, they give and take on the line. It's, it's been the one theme I had here. Uh, let's, let's go to maybe uh, just for something. Uh, let's see if it works, if I got it right in the wire. 137. Let's see if this will prove my point. 137. No, that's too many, too many notes. I don't want that many notes. 49, let's try 49 in the same one. Okay, yeah. Now, this, this line in the cellos and, and the uh, violas, and uh, where's, where's the cello one? Let's go to 65. No, that's not it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's go to 41. 41. Yeah, 41. Now, as that line ascends, first, your lines go up. You start on an E and you end up on a B. Well, the B should be louder than the, the E, and it should gradually go up because the line goes up simply because the mezzo forte is a general thing. Here we go, 41. The tempo on this is again, what is it? Yum, pum, 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 pum. Is that the right tempo? Here we go. Ready? Three, and. Now, now come down. Now, now you have a drop. Now you have a drop of a fifth. So come on down and bring, bring it up. Then we're going to bring the cellos and keep going. Here we go. Forty-one. Ready? And. Yep. A little more, more, more. Down. Now you're getting higher. A little more. Now, yes, even, it, it wasn't the best example right there, but even inside these little phrases, yum pum 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 pum, pum 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 pum, pum, pum it's up and down. I call them implied dynamics. What would you call them? You know, just expressive ways to play. To add a little more contrast to your playing, you got a wonderful instructor. The choice of material was wonderful. I loved the way you played. Your intonation was, was very, very good. And, and just add a little more life. Put your heart and soul into it. And if, he's, if you do overdo it, he'll tell you. So soft's loud, softer, loud's louder. If you see a line going up, take it up dynamically, okay? And I like the way she moves when she's playing.
Well, take a look at her when she moves. She's, she's really into the music. Okay, thank you. Pleasure working with you.